What's good with y'all, man? What's good? What's good? We back with another video. Y'all see, we about to get back to it. Big Meech. Uh, new motor about to be in this week, so I like, man. I got some good weather today, so I might as well go ahead and get to it and start taking the motor out. So my plan today is to get to mo get the motor up to the point where all we got to do is roll the engine horse to it and pull it out. So I'm about to get to it today. Should be quick. There's a lot of clearance and room up on the big meats to work with. Uh, I'm not pulling the transmission. No need. No need to pull the transmission and everything out. Ain't no need for that. So I'm just going to take uh, the transmission bolts loose and torque converting and all that good stuff, which don't take long. It's easy. Uh, easy to turn the motor. It's not a lot of compression on this motor anyway, on this engine. So I'm about to take the car cover off. But before I did, cause I saw somebody in the in the comments of one of the video ask about the car cover, and I never did really just go into detail. But I put the link to I put the link in the description if you want this car cover. It's a real nice cover. Uh, it's been holding up good. So I got two of them. I got one for Dolo too. I got one coming for Wifey Car. So they some good covers. Y'all see they got the door access. Cause I never showed y'all the covers. But they got the door access right there. You don't have to take the cover off if you don't want to. Work great. Just zip up. Zip open, get in the car. And uh it got the straps, which I broke one of mine. I mean they good strap, but I hey buckle it up. I broke one, hit it with the tie, and that was it. But they they strap down right there, so you ain't gotta worry about the cover wind getting up on it and blowing your cover off your car and it, it hold up good cause I done had we done had some windy days uh since me buying these covers so just throwing it out there cause I saw somebody ask about it I put the link in the description of this video if you want it just click the link then you can go buy it or whatever I think they were 30 th I think they 38 dollars or something good material it's a good cover uh it definitely keep even if you wash your car it keep your car it keep your car pretty clean you wash the car too. Cause I washed big meats some weeks ago. <laughs> Cause y'all remember it had all that black stuff on it, but I haven't washed it again. It you know I just keep the cover over and, and it do what it do. So yeah, that's it. That's enough about the cover. I'm about to get this thing uncovered, then I'm about to start getting to it, so stay tuned. Alright, so I'm thinking of a attack plan. Uh which I already got in my head what I'm gonna do. But I don't have the engine horse. That rig engine horse. I'll be buying me one just to have it though. Uh, but my plan of attack. I ain't dirty already. But my plan of attack is uh, when I talking to Rick, he said he just gonna leave the brackets in the car. The uh, all night all day he gonna leave and lay them to the side in the car. Cause we gonna have to take it a loop. But I can't take that loose anyway, cause I don't have the the pulley removal. For the power stern pump car, it's a bolt behind there that you have to get to take the pulleys off. I mean the bracket off. So I ain't gonna bother with that. But um I'm going to take the headers loose. I'm gonna leave the exhaust all hooked up. So I'm gonna hit the headers, spark plugs, um, radiator. I'm gonna take the radiator out first. I just let the water drain. I will not be removing the power stern lines. I mean, cause Rick said he's gonna leave this in here anyway, but I went even if we was gonna take it out, we're gonna take them off. Just yet, I'm gonna wait until Rick bring the engine horse. Cause you know that thing be kicking power stirring fluid out, and I ain't want to fool that. But I'm gonna plug all my wires, disconnect that oil pressure uh, gauge back there. The water, the temp gauge, disconnect that, all that. You know, fuel lines, I'm gonna take that out, drain that. So I would not, I'd probably be doing everything, and I'm gonna get all the bolts uh, out the transmission. Except the bottom two bolts. It still shouldn't go nowhere. I mean, even just sitting on the stud, but I'm gonna leave the bottom two in. One on the bottom on this side, one on the bottom on that side. Let's be on the safe side. Disconnect the torque converter bolts. Uh starter wise, I'm gonna take that loose and the motor mounts. So I'm gonna have it well. Like Rick ain't gonna have to go under the car. So I say I felt like getting to it, man. Give y'all a video. Since the new engine will be in this week so that's my attack plan i guess now i'm about to sit the camera down we're gonna get to work all right so got the about to hit the fan trial bolts uh i got my little simple tool sets today did what i'm using today he said i like to keep it simple ain't no need in bringing out a million tools you don't need them i mean i overcomplicate things everything organizing these i use these a lot uh 
Y'all know what I need to get? I need to get me another. I'm going to buy me another Impact or Milwaukee. Uh, three eight dry car. I got the half inch dry. Y'all know I use it a lot. But for stuff like this, you could use the three eight dry impact. Uh, so I'm gonna be going to get that and the uh Milwaukee ratchet, the Milwaukee M. Uh, I think it's the M12 fuel ratchet. I'm gonna get that. Cause if I had that stuff, I sure know zip through it. But it's still not gonna take long. So I'm just gonna sit it down and uh, y'all just watch me work. All right, so taking the uh taking the fan shroud off so we can get to the radiator. Ten millimeter bolts. Uh, I think I got. I ain't got. I'm missing a couple of them. I'm missing three of them, but you know it's secure or whatever. Take that top piece out. Then you can get your radiator out. Then you take that bottom piece out. Get you a bucket. Catch the water. Take the bottom radiator, radiator hose off, catch the water and all that good stuff. I tell you, man, I'm going to get me an impact, a 3.8 drive. So, stuff like this, man, I can just zip. And I mean, I got a 10 millimeter I can put on a half inch drive, but the only the only downside to that thing is it's so bulky. Like, that thing big. The half inch drive impact is big, man. Some, some places, it big and it powerful. Sometimes it's overkill. I mean, you really don't need it. But working on this. So while I'm doing that, I mean, doing this, I said doing it. I might well give y'all some real talk. Cause I ain't, I ain't did it in a minute. And uh, I know people be looking forward to it. But this right here been on my heart anyway. Cause I've been seeing, I've been seeing stuff online when they're talking about cars and all that, man. But you need to. I mean, as people, you need to start uplifting people and stop trying to tear people down, man. Especially, you know, when they, especially when they trying in life, you know. They really giving their all or whatever. They're putting forth the effort. Like, we always quick to tear people down, like. And what made me think about this car, I be seeing stuff, the car posts, you know, people will get a, a car, their first car, it might not, it might not be up to a part of somebody else, you know. It's a project. You know, it might not have nice paint on it or all this other stuff or it might not be up to today's standards or times for some of the car builders like i saw a guy he made a post uh in one of the groups on facebook and he had a box Chevy. it had it had lambo doors on it. and you know he said he was 18 and uh you know he was just getting he was just getting started you know at first car the people were laughing and picking at him and stuff you know just cause you don't see a lot of people doing the Lambo doors anymore. But it don't matter, man. That's why, that's why I kind of hate the car game now. Cause you know, and it be like that in life too. People be so quick to judge somebody else or tell them, man. Or, or you know, want to try to put a wool over their eyes and all this stuff. When they ought to be uplifting it and saying, hey man, good job. Cause that's what I did. I like, man, you know, keep doing your thing. You got a, uh, you got a good start. Man, just keep it up. It's not hard, man. It's not hard to be positive. That's my real talk for the day. Like, it's not hard to be positive, man. Stop being so negative to people and trying to tell people down, man. Just cause they not, they might not be where you at in life yet. I hate that call. You know, people need to learn to stay humble. You need to put your pride to the side, man. And, and you know, start start congratulating people, man. Uplifting them. They trying. You know what I'm saying? They trying. They don't kill me. But I mean. Keep that in consideration before you quit to laugh about at a person calling all that and you know it ain't just younger people it's it's it people older and all that still doing i'm like y'all still be talking about people's shoes and stuff that lame like people be in my comment section talking about some don't do this and don't do that man listen you do what you want to do for your car ain't nobody listening to you i'm not i'm not listening to you and i don't care what you got i don't care what you got i hate a person throwing i got this i got that before you even say something Man, don't nobody care what you got. Get on your business game. i never forget a guy. A guy dropped a comment on one of my videos, man. And after I dropped my comment, uh, he didn't say nothing. But he was he was talking about some of my ugly cheap rims or something. He said it was on an older video. And I was like, and he was like, before you even say something, I got a Jag painted and mounted. And I got this and painted and mounted. I'm having and I said, I really don't care what you having. <laughs> I don't care what you having. I don't. 
I said, cause you can buy all this stuff, you riding around in liabilities, I'm riding around in assets. So I guess, I guess he must have thought about it like, hey, I sound real foolish. That's what I'm saying? So think before, think before you speak, man. A lot of people don't do that. Always bragging, man. Like, don't nobody kill, nobody kill what y'all guys got. You bragging and all that. Then a comment, <laughs> this a recent comment, this tripped me out, y'all. Y'all know when I be, uh, when I be, when I be working, man, I have to talk to y'all. Y'all my people. So it like y'all outside with me. But, uh, the, a recent comment, I saw a guy, what he said? I said nothing about big rim racing. I have never mentioned I'm going to big rim race, if y'all pay attention. But some people just don't listen, you know, but it is what it is. He was like, just stay in your lane. I hate when a person say that. I hate when a person say, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Come on, man. Come on, man. Now, we, we supposed to be past that. I hate when a person say that. You don't know what lane a person is. You don't know what they're capable of. So how you gonna how you gonna tell somebody to stay in your lane? This man told me to stay in my lane. It's rough out here. I'm from Miami. Don't nobody kill where you from. <laughs> no disrespect to nobody. Honestly. Don't nobody kill where I'm from. I'm from Georgia. That don't mean nothing. No disrespect, but I'm from this and that. Man, people got fast cars everywhere. People have fast cars everywhere, man. People have money everywhere. So I don't want to hit it. Then I hate to, you tell a person stay in the lane, don't know what they're capable of. Like when I was talking about putting the X275 mode in this car. I never forget somebody. Is that a joke? Hell nah, that ain't no joke, man. What you? Do you know how much that costs? Yes, I do. I do know how much that costs. That's counting somebody's pockets. When you do that, you count somebody's pockets. But then you say that to them, I'm not counting no. You count somebody's pockets if you do that, trust me. Don't be looking at how a person dress. All that other stuff don't mean nothing. You'll be wrong nine out of ten, ten times, so. That's my real talk, though. I'm just moving around. I'm about to get to it. Stay tuned. So I'm checking in. I'm moving right along, taking the plug side and look at them. Let me get the focus for y'all. Soaked in gas, man. Still black. I can see it. Smell straight gas on the plug. They wet. So shouldn't have these problem um long, too much longer, like I said. Got the radiator out, fan shroud stuff, pulling the plug, then I'm about to hit all the linkage and all that little stuff. So when I check back in, all that stuff should be disconnected. I should be down to where I got to take the uh, transmission bolts out, which I should be able to hit them from the top. I guess I can explain, because everybody don't know. Pulling an engine, not really hard, y'all, but... Spark plug, most of the time they 5.8. If you don't know what a spark plug socket look like, this is what it look like. It's 3.8 drive, or you can put a wrench on there, 11.16. I mean 19, I'm sorry, 19 or 3 quarter wrench. can go in here, you can turn it. That's what I'm using to take them out. Eight spark plugs. That's what I just showed is a spark plug for people that might be learning and don't know. You got to take your linkage off because this stuff stays in the car. Try to pull the engine out, you're gonna get a surprise. Either you're gonna break it or you're gonna you're gonna realize I I gotta take this off. So take the pin out, all that good stuff. This right here comes off. Take this stud out. This stays in the car. Uh you don't take your carburetor off until you're getting ready to pull it because something might drop in the engine. Which in my case it really don't matter, but if you were pulling a good engine, you gotta think about stuff like that. You gotta be a little more careful. Cause my engine done already, but so it don't matter. But I'm gonna take that uh, cap off, the distributor cap, cause you don't wanna. Well, we're gonna take the hood. We're gonna take the hood off, but if we didn't want to, sometimes you'll crack your distributor cap when pulling the engine. So sometimes it's good to remove it. It ain't gonna hurt now. It ain't but four, uh, four. 
I ain't screws really, but four clips, clamp on uh, hold downs. Then I'm after I take that loose, I'ma hit my arm, um, my oil sending unit, which is a SEM 16. So yeah, and after I get all that out my way, see I can reach down here and hit my top transmission bolts car. I mean I got so much clearance and all that, especially over there. So I ain't I shouldn't have to go under the car really today and, and accept or uh, doing torque converter bolts. But yep, that's my plan. I'm just explaining to everybody, get your sending unit. I'm explaining to everybody and then uh I'm gonna check back in with y'all. So stay tuned, y'all. We rocking and rolling. Checking in, so they well met. Uh, been working, been getting phone calls and stuff too. Could have been more done, but uh, got that header all spark plugs out, all the um, linkage and all that stuff loose. I'm gonna take that. Uh, I'm gonna get that back carburetor stud so I can take the bracket loose. Uh, I'm not. I'm not taking the holes and stuff loose, cause they're easy. They're just pulling out, and then I don't want nothing open to go in the carburetor. Carburetor some good. So I'm just gonna leave these all connected. I ain't worried about it. They're just pulling it off anyway. Um, I'm working on this side. I say this side for lad. I did that one first because that's the quote unquote hard side. This side easy. I got all this clearance or whatever. I'm zooming through this. Uh, getting these bolts out, spark plugs sorry out. Got the distributor cap off. Um, leave the wires. I'm leaving the wires in here on the motor car. Stay on this. They're on the wire holder. Um, so I'm just leaving them in there. We got, then I'm gonna hit the, I'm gonna hit the, either the motor mount bolts. No, I'm gonna hit them when I go on the car, cause it'll be a whole lot easier with the impact. It's super easy. But I'm gonna hit the uh, transmission bolts, the top transmission bolts up here while I'm at it. I'm about to grab and get this uh, temp, temp sending unit out. I'm gonna get that out. I already pulled the oil stick out, cause we bent one the last time, the first time. So I already, I already got that out. Um, I might go ahead and take the belt off. I'm going to take the fan off this time because we're going to have to take the fan off anyway. All this stuff got to come off anyway. And the water pump got to come out of this motor. So, uh, yeah. That's what it is. I'm about to, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Headers loose. The exhaust still hooked up. Transmission. Transmission bolts, the top ones. Then I'm gonna jack the car up, go under there. I'm gonna hit the starter too. I'm gonna get the starter, starter wise disconnect. Then I'm gonna go under there and hit the torque converter bolts and hit the motor mount bolts. And uh, that'll wrap it up. We'll be ready to pull. I might all oh, get that fan out. So I don't know. Y'all just stay tuned, man. I'm about there and I'm gonna catch y'all in a minute. All right, so I'm back. We rolling. I got this. I got this uh the end of the jack handle call. I'm about to use it for some leverage to put on the end of the ratchet. So I can uh break this transmission bolt loose. Pretty tight, they ain't never been out. Not that I know of though. Put some leverage on it though, it coming out easy. Can't get on there straight, there we go. Easy. Put some leverage on there, that bad boy coming out. So, got that boat out, y'all. Then, let me see. Good thing about having a lot of clearance right here, boy. You can get stuff out easy. So, like I said, I'm going to hit the top bolts. 
I'm gonna hit all the top bolts and uh, I ain't gonna worry about the bottom two bolts. They they super easy to get to. Just for a peace of mind, the car not moving, so it ain't like the transmission gonna fall out the car. And the motor's still connected, but I mean, just a peace of mind. I'm just gonna leave them in there, so I ain't gonna hurt none. But yep, I'm working. Uh, I gotta do that. I got the headers loose. I got everything loose. Uh. I gotta pull this up. I'm gonna take the take the wires out the starter. This simple. Take the starter wires loose. Uh, now I'm gonna jack the car at last. They won't save that for last, man. You know you don't don't nobody like going under the car. You know, so I'm gonna jack it up last and uh slide under there, get the uh, torque converter bolts loose. It's gonna be like that. They're gonna be a breeze. And then I'm gonna take the motor mount bolts loose. And then it's gonna be a wrap. It's going to be a wrap after that. We'll be ready to pull this bad boy out. Already. So, when he bring the engine hoist, all we have to do is hook up, put the motor plate on there, and then snatch it out. And go back with the 350. Sound about right to me. So, they're well met. I'm about to go ahead and snatch the water pump off. So, I turned the camera on just to show somebody, just in case you need to change the water pump. On, if you get on one of these kind of engines, uh, this is how you do it. So you remove the radiator because you get you're gonna need the clearance. So you gotta take the radiator out. Take the radiator out, which is top radiator hose, bottom radiator radiator hose. If it's a factory, you're gonna have your transmission lines running into the radiator into the cooler. So you have to remove those, which are uh, three eighths, three eight wrench, if I remember right. Take those loose, then you can remove your radiator. Move your fan, sh fan shroud, then you just take your belt, take your belt loose, uh, release the tension, get your half inch drive ratchet, release the tension on the uh, tension, of, take your belt off, and it's just four bolts, 916 bolts, one, two, three, four, then it'll pop off, might need to a pry ball on because it'll probably see it on there pretty good, water pump will come off. Then the installation is the reverse. You know, you use your gasket, water pump gaskets, and then you put your bolts on, and then boom, 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 you back. So just like that. Uh, so yeah, I got the uh, I got all transmission bolts loose except the bottom two. One on this side at the very bottom, one on that side at the very bottom. I was able to access all the bolts from the top. It's a it's a breeze. I mean, it's really a breeze. Uh, the converter bolts. I might not get them converter bolts today. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like jacking the car, man. It's, I just don't. You got the, uh, cause it still got the shield on the bottom and all of that. I have to take the shield off, which ain't, ain't nothing but two bolts. It ain't nothing major. Uh, but I just don't feel like jacking this car. I'm not about to tell y'all no lie. If all I have to do is three converter bolts, I'm cool with that. That ain't nothing. So what I'm about to do, take the water pump off, cause we're gonna have to take it off anyway to go on a new engine. Uh, motor mount bolts which I actually can hit them like the car sits I mean I can slide on the hill with without jacking it up I fit <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, go up on there and hit those take the motor mount bolts loose and then I'm probably gonna wrap up but yeah I was just checking in and showing y'all that stay tuned I'm gonna catch y'all on the next clip all right y'all so I'm uh y'all see I just closed the hood of oh, big meats I'm finna wrap the video up I just got finna working so Look who popped up and called. So what up, what up, Bree? Hey. <laughs> so look. How y'all doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, everybody say what's up in the comments. Y'all make sure to say what's up to Bree. I know y'all remember her. Uh, if you don't, I'm going to insert a clip. You know, we did a ride rats and all of that. But I like to, uh, I like to keep everybody that I'm really affiliated with involved in the vlog. So, you know, just, just tell the people, like, what you been up to? during the quarantine and all of that? Um, we're pretty much staying home, um, but doing a lot of workouts. I've gotten a couple clients that I'm training online, so that's been good. Um, just been having some rest time and spending time with my daughter. It's been really nice. Really, really good. Right, right, right. So, what's the, uh, so when the next time we linking up for a video? I know people people waiting on it. You and Terry, they they love y'all too. I know, I know. You just gotta let me know. <laughs> you just gotta let me know I'll wear a mask. 
more definitely. We got uh, you know, I'll be there. Got to be safe, y'all. We got to be safe. And look, y'all, I mean, I hear from Bree, me and Bree, we stay in contact and everything. She like family and all that, but Terry is right here in Georgia. Bree is not. She in Florida, so that's why y'all y'all don't see her on as many videos as Terry, like in person. But it's coming. It's coming. It's just crazy right now. I just want to see your face and hear from you. It's definitely coming. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. And definitely, hey, Bree, go ahead and drop your Instagram and all that. I know we were just talking about how you get flooded anyway, but go ahead and drop your Instagram. <laughs> so, actually, my Instagram name has changed because I'm going more towards my business now. Um, so, it's Bobby by Bree, um, B-R-E, and then there's an underscore. So, Bobby by Bree, underscore. Yeah, and I'm going to put it on the screen, y'all. Follow me. Yeah, more definitely follow her. I'm going to put it on the screen. So y'all can see it. I want y'all to flood her, whatever. Y'all flooded the last time. Y'all flooded the last time. So let's let's keep that going. Yeah, y'all did. I, I appreciate the love. Yeah. Appreciate it. Right, right. And if y'all need any tips or uh, or on the training and all that, cause she she does train, she gets down and all that in the gym. Y'all and and just like Terry, you know what I'm saying? Bree, go ahead and go ahead and show him one time. Yeah. Show him one time. She's the truth too. Y'all know I'm gonna tell her, show y'all. <laughs> Definitely probably not like Terry, but, you know, I'm getting there. <laughs> right, right, man. You're doing your thing. You're doing your thing. That's what everybody say, too. So, y'all yeah. always showing them love. These my people. That's why I always put them in the vlog versus anybody else because they like fam. So, yeah, I just want them to hear from you. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, no problem. So, y'all, we're going um, we gonna to hop off. I'm going to cut this camera off. Finish out that Bree. So y'all see her face or uh, uh, Instagram on the screen. Y'all make sure to go uh, follow her, flood her, all that good stuff. And I'm going to catch y'all in a minute. All right. So we are wrapping up for the day. Got all that off. It's ready to come out. Uh, motor mount bolts. Just tuck them out. Uh, I did everything I said I was going to do. Except the torque converter bolt. Just call, I don't feel like jacking the car up. Simply. This just I just don't feel like it. So I get them probably tomorrow. Well next Sunday day. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, but all I got to do to pull it is the uh torque converter bolts. The of course pulling the hoses of the loop from the carburetor and putting the motor plate on, which is that's nothing. Uh, all the wires disconnected, anything that could prevent the motor from being pulled or be, or anything that would be ripped is disconnected. So I went ahead and snatched the water pump. Like I said, the front stuff got to come off anyway. Uh, three torque converter bolts. The power steering lines, which are very easy. Well, we ain't going to take those off. Uh, my bad, we ain't going to take those off because Rick said he's going to pull the pulley. The power stern pull it off and on leave that whole assembly pull it, lean it over to the side. The alternating all just lean it to the side over there. So those don't have to come out anyway. So torque convert torque converter bolts, uh transmission lines. I didn't want to take these loose just because they're so simple, it's just too clean and I don't want fluid leaking in the driveway. I got enough spots. And uh two tr two transmission bolts, and that's it. So I be it's ready to come out pretty much. Ready to come out. It's uh five five bolts. Five bolts holding in, it's ready to come out. So yep, we ready to roll. Uh like I said, man, I was like I might as well go ahead and get it done. If I had an engine horse, I could have pulled it today, really. If I had an engine horse, I mean it's early in the day. Uh probably did in like two hours, two hour time. If I had some, if I had that that uh, electric ratchet, that Milwaukee air ratchet, not air ratchet, electric ratchet, or that Milwaukee three eight drive impact, I so up been just rolling, just straight rolling. But I cruise control, I get phone calls and all that other stuff. But about two hours, got it about right here at this point. So I would jack the car, torque convert, torque converter bolts out. It would have been ready. But yeah, next time y'all see this car, this engine will be coming out the car, and the other one will be going in. Or next next time I jump on on this car, I'm gonna be showing y'all the new engine car. I'm going to pick it up. But yep, then where we at? Meets will be back. I say in about 
a week. I say about a week. Uh, we'll be back. Oil pressure, all the good stuff. Uh, no faulty, no nothing faulty, none of that. We'll be ready. And I'm getting music and all that stuff put in. So I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, man, I appreciate all the love. I hope y'all been enjoying the content. I'm going to keep it coming. Uh, Dolo coming. Dolo's coming soon. It should be parked right here beside Big Meats. Within a week, man. I'm hoping within a week I should have that car over here too. And then I will have both of the boxes running at the same time. And I'm, uh, and I'm uh, eventually be getting John Jones back too, man. Ready to get John Jones back too. So uh, it won't be long. I have all three of my rides here running. Giving y'all a lot of good content. Uh, like I said, I'm going to put the eights on Big Meats. I read in the comments, a lot of people talking about do this and do that. I'm going to notch the frame. I said it in the video. If people listen, I'm going to notch the frame. That's the easiest thing to do. Uh, it don't take long. It's not that not that expensive, too. So I'm going to take it over to, uh, I'm going to drive it over to Jesse. After I get it uh, fired up, I'm going to drive it over there. I'm going to take one of the 28s. And I'm going to tell him, here, put this put this on. See where it's hitting it. Boom, boom, do your thing. When, I, when it come back, I'll be tucking the eights on Big Meats, and I'm just going to buy some sixes for Dolo. So that's the plan. We're about to roll. I appreciate everybody once again. Hope you all enjoying the content. I'll catch you on that video. I'm out.